So if the, if the withdrawal agreement is dead, if the EU is saying that it's not like open for renegotiation, that it does look as if we could be heading towards a no-deal Brexit uh, if Boris Johnson becomes Prime Minister and is determined to take the UK out by that deadline in October. Now, that is something the Chancellor says will cost the UK £90 billion. Is that a price worth paying? Well, the figure you quote relates to a Treasury forecast for 2035, a full 15 years after the end of the implementation period. And it also assumes that the government would take absolutely no action in response to a new deal. Well, as the Chancellor knows, and as I know, there are teams currently working in the Treasury on exactly what options we will take if we were in the position of a no-deal outcome. So those teams wouldn't be working uh, in the way they are if the intention of the government was not to take action. So, so there is a forecast there. There's a load of forecasts that have been put out uh, in recent weeks. Uh, the reality is a no-deal would be disruptive, but we've got over 300 teams across Whitehall working on our preparations, whilst it remains our priority to secure a deal if the EU are willing to move on that. It's, it's not just any forecast, though, is it? It's a cross-government forecast, including by your department, that you actually presented to Parliament in... Uh, that was published by your, your department in November. I mean, surely we have to trust no, these it, figures. It, it, no. No, it wasn't presented by myself. And what I'm saying is it's a forecast that's based on no action being taken by government when I think everyone, including the Chancellor, would accept uh, that in the event of New Deal, then, of course, the government would take action. Uh, and it's also a, a forecast to 2035, which I think your viewers will know. Any forecast 15 years after the implementation period uh, can only be uh, uh, treated with a certain degree of, of questioning. So, so there are limits to what can be forecast. We know that from each budget. The issue is what action would the government take in the event of no deal? Uh, and across government, we're preparing extremely seriously to ensure that the new Prime Minister has the options he needs.